Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Animal Kingdom and we have a fun day planned today. We're going to be doing the Caring for Giants experience here at the park where we get an up close look at the majestic African elephants and learn more about their care and then also meeting up with some friends, having lunch at Yak and Yeti, riding rides and enjoying a beautiful Animal Kingdom kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. <laughs> and there she is, the tree of life. It's definitely going to be a hot day today. And also, look, Kevin is actually hanging out down there. We can go see Kevin real quick. I'm going to fill you guys in on all of the information about the Caring for Giants experience once we get over there. But I'm kind of excited to see Kevin. <laughs> yes how awesome was that I mean you couldn't ask for a better way to start off an Animal Kingdom day than seeing Kevin recruit a bunch of new uh, wilderness explorers that was so amazing I loved it so much she is so fun we're going to make our way straight back to Africa, though, because we want to get ready for our, our Caring for Giants experience. And like I said, I'm going to give you all the information once we get up to the booth where we check in. And here we are at the Animal Tours booth, and it's time to check in for our experience. And they offer a bunch of different ones. They have a rhino encounter. They have the sunset on Savannah. They have the Wild Africa Trek, and it's all amazing. So now we're going to dive into the details, and it's right next to uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris. This is where you meet up, and uh, I'm excited. I've never done this before, so this is going to be uh, a fun little experience. The tour itself is $35 per person and it's a 60 minute tour and like I said, it gets you up close with the uh, majestic African elephants and you learn about their care here in the park and you just kind of enjoy and get a really good close look of the elephants and I'm excited like I said, you can book it all online on the website, I'll put a link in the description, you have to sign a little waiver but I do have to warn you though, it is a 60 minute experience and there is no bathroom break so you have to make sure you use the bathroom beforehand and I'm excited I'm excited to see what we get to do you can see right here these are some of the other offerings that they have here's the caring for giants that's the one we're doing today and then they have the up close with rhinos the wild Africa trek and then the savor the savannah and all the prices are different but uh, I, I mean this is like something really amazing and the price it's only $35 like that is so crazy right it is ages four and up though but I, I thought something like this would be much more expensive at Disney, you know what I mean? We get a little special lanyard with our name on it, Nate. And funny is, is the paper that's in here is handcrafted paper made out of 85% elephant poop fibers. So I'm going to keep this forever and I shouldn't keep it so close to my nose either. <laughs> Now, I did ask, and if you are actually walking around this area, you can always stop in and see if they have walk-up availability, but they've been booked up like 60 days in advance, and you can also like book it on the My Disney Experience app, which is kind of cool because that's very convenient, so you can either do it there or on the website, but I feel like anytime I walk by here now, I'm going to stop and just be like, hey, are there any open spots for any tours today? Like, I feel like that's going to be a new Animal Kingdom tradition for me. I am really concerned once we get back there. Today, it is 97 degrees out and it says feels like it's 102. Animal Kingdom is always the hottest part and I am like, holy mo, I'm already dying. But, I mean, I'm just gonna enjoy it so much. I'm not even gonna think about it because I'm gonna be like seeing cool elephants and doing unique things. That's the best thing. Sometimes when you come on vacation and it is hot, it does creep up on you sometimes, but sometimes you just forget about it and you just go with it. I'm actually going to be doing the tour with my friend Maria from Lake Buena Visitors. Are you so excited? LBV TV, ready to go on a Caring for Giants tour with Paging Mr. Morrow. We're going to get in so much fun trouble. Yep. Fun and wear elephant poop. I know, we're literally, this is, says it's made out of 85% elephant poop. It literally says that. It was getting close to my nose, actually, when I was talking about it. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't boo that. Like, <laughs> that's so funny. I said it's the most beautiful elephant poop I've ever seen. I know. Beautiful. Now we're going to start heading back to uh, do the experience and we're going to be going actually like on the outside of Kilimanjaro safaris. So everything that you see from the safari, we're going to be actually like, it would be honestly like riding the safari and you would see us standing back there. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, I, I feel like we're like 
on the safari then. And uh, you can film, so I'm gonna bring the camera and I'm gonna show everything. The only thing we can't film is when we're in the like, commute from backstage areas. Once you're off stage, you can't show backstage on camera, but once we're back on stage, that's when I'll start filming again. We're heading backstage now. Once we get back to where we're actually gonna be hanging out with the elephants, then we can film, but you can't film when you're going backstage. So we can't uh, film in like commute. But I'm so excited, we're going back and it says safari staff only. See that? Safari staff only. Oh, we're safari staff now. Yeah, we have made safari it. Staff. Safari staff only. Deal now. <laughs> Now, I do want to say before we actually head back there, I don't plan on showing you guys everything because I do want to leave a little bit of an experience for you so that you can enjoy. I'm going to show you guys a lot of stuff, but I do want to actually give you guys like an opportunity that you get to experience this for yourself if you want to come out and book it. So I'm going to leave a lot of parts out so that way you're not, see you're not getting the whole experience just from this video. You're just getting a glimpse of it to decide whether or not you want to do it or not. And we are back on stage now. Look at that, but we're like off to the side, so that's Kilimanjaro Safari's going right there. This is the mother of our herd that we have here. This is Donna. Um, we do have, if you guys have ridden the safari before, has anybody ridden the safari? Yeah. Yeah, you guys remember where that like road close sign is? You see an elephant near there? Yeah. It's actually a third yard. So to get there, they have to walk all the way through this yard. It's like a big long runway. Uh, where are you going? You can follow her. We're kind of down this way. I don't know where she's going. But I'm glad you came in. Three daughters, so she has three daughters. Two of them are related, the younger two, and one of them got gas from a few little cups. And the other one got kind of a bigger cup. Look at my ass pillows. Oh, I see the others. They're way, they're way back here. They're hanging in the shade. Is she following us or are we following her? <laughs> A couple of fun facts, there are three male elephants here and six female elephants here. And it's so interesting because whenever I do Kilimanjaro safaris, usually I only see one or two of them like out at one single time. But they're all here, they just have plenty of room to actually walk around. And I'm excited to see more than one or two elephants. You can watch the safari go by right now. And it's funny because that's where the flamingo exhibit is. Do you guys know how flamingos get that pink color? Like, I love that part of the tour, but look at that. It's so cool, we're like on the other side. We're on the other side of the attraction. You can kind of see right now, Donna's got some mud. She's throwing it on her back. Does anybody know what they're doing that for? Try to stay cool? Yeah. Oh, sunscreen. Sunscreen, and then what might you spray before you go hiking in the woods? Sunscreen? Sunscreen, yeah. So oh. Good one for them. But because these guys get super dirty, every single morning starts off with that. I should start throwing mud on myself. Wow, this is so cool. Look at there's four elephants here right in just our view. I love this. And then you got a little baby one right there too. This is amazing. I know the baby's right there. I'm like so excited. Oh, they're eating The baby elephant's name is Stella. Stella. I love it. Here are some really cool, interesting things that you'll learn about more on the tour. Here is one single elephant tooth. Look at that, it is huge, it's bigger than my hand. And then this is a piece of poop. <laughs> if this is animal poop, but I think it's preserved a little bit, but still very funny to be holding animal poop in my hands. <laughs> As a lot of you may know, elephants are afraid of bees, and this is a bee fence. Now, this isn't actually a bee fence, this is just a display, but there would be a bunch of bees inside here, so if you wanted to protect your farm from elephants, they would come and they'd bump into it, and the bees would come out and they would uh, not go to the garden. And that's kind of what they have set up right here. Isn't that so interesting? Like bees, I mean, elephants are afraid of bees. 
they have a nice little like observation area here where they have a caring for giant sign you have a little bench and you can just sit down and elephant watch like isn't that so cool i love being back here and just the pathways themselves like just going alongside kilimanjaro safaris like this is really really something special Here is a really cool example of an elephant's foot. Look at that. That is so crazy. I love how they have it like that. Just to give you a little bit of like, cause like you would think that it'd be like nice and soft, but they got plenty of cushion there because you know, elephants are pretty heavy. All right, now we are back out on stage. We're actually right back out in front of Kilimanjaro Safaris. And I love this. This was such a great little experience for only $35. You cannot go wrong with this. Like that is amazing. Now you can't go up and you can't like pet the elephants, but you get super, super close. And the information that you get, like Meg, who was uh, the cast member that was giving us our tour, she was so knowledgeable. It was insane. She was throwing out facts that like, I had no idea about and a lot of that stuff I did not want to put in because I also want you guys to get shocked and surprised when she talks about it and uh, yeah this was so fun I definitely highly recommend this because like I said you can't go wrong with the experience you're gonna have memories and photos that really amazing photo opportunity and I loved it like this is something really nifty and, I, I, and I'm, so, I'm shocked that it took me this long to actually come out and do it so I'm so happy that I got to do it I got to do it with my good friend Maria and it was amazing now that the elephant business is taken care of, I think it's time for lunch at Yak and Yeti. Conditioned air, fine food, drinks, that all sounds amazing to me, especially the conditioned air. Because like I said, it is so hot out. And being out there uh, in the back of Kilimanjaro Safaris, there was no shade. And, like there was a little bit of shade in that nice little quiet area, but it felt like 107. Maria had to take off and she's heading out and doing some other things But you guys should definitely check out her channel because it was so fun and we hang out all the time I'll put a link in the description and now like I said We're going to Yak and Yeti and we're gonna meet up with some other friends and we're gonna hang out more So today's a really amazing day full of fun activities and friends here is a look at the menu a little bit. I always like to show the menu outside because when you get inside, sometimes it's a little bit dark, but they have a lot of cool things. They have soups and salads and noodles and bowls, some lo mein, $21.99. They also have some grilled items like a Kobe beef burger, barbecue ribs, teriyaki chicken, Korean beef, and like the prices are anywhere between $20 to $30. So that's not too bad at all. I'm excited to see what I'm gonna get here. And we joined up with our friends Ash and M from We Were Cute. Are you guys excited for some Yak and Yeti? Oh yeah. yeah. We love this restaurant. It's so good. Nice. I'm pumped. And you guys are gonna show me the ropes because I haven't eaten here much, so I don't know much about the menus, but you guys have, you know, this is one of your favorite spots. So I'm excited. Looks like they've got some wok fried green beans on the menu along with some firecracker shrimp. So I think we're gonna start off with that. And I was looking at the honey chicken, and that looks like a really good dish, and it's tempura uh, chicken, but I'm gonna ask, and I think they could do it grilled. So I might do like uh, grilled orange chicken as my entree. Try it. Oh yeah, there's the fried green beans, or the wok fried green beans. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Last time I had uh, green beans like this was from uh, Disneyland when I had the poo-poo platter. The poo-poo platter. And then this is the firecracker shrimp? Yes. All right, I'm gonna take it's some of this. It's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. We're gonna try the uh, firecracker shrimp first. They said it's a little bit spicy, but I mean, I'm going for it here. That's not spicy at all. Really? Yeah. I need to try one. Yeah. You guys, you guys feel a little spice? It's a little spicy. I want it to really hype up the spiciness so you weren't, you know, surprised. That's the way. A spicy surprise. You didn't let me down. You didn't let me down. <laughs> Maybe that's why I was thinking it was going to be so hot and then I was like, oh, this ain't bad at all. I like it. <laughs> now we're going to dive into the green beans here. And I love fried green beans. I actually go around. There was just one time I went around and bought all the different green beans to see which ones I like better because TGI Fridays had some. Ruby Tuesdays had some, and uh, the ones that I had over in Disneyland at the Disneyland Hotel at the Poo Poo Platter, those were actually pretty amazing. So we're gonna test these ones out. Oh, those are good. All right, I'm gonna grab some of this, and I'm gonna try some of this sauce here. 
It's like a jam almost. Little green beans and jam. Also, the lighting in here is very funny because it keeps on changing. I think it's the light bulb. So one second I might look like a different color than the next. And enough with the green bean business. Now it's time for the main event. I ended up getting the honey chicken, which I got with grilled chicken. And then it looks like it's got some zucchini. It actually looks really good. And then you guys got some pretty good food too, right? What'd you get? So I got the chicken tikka masala and it's so good. I get it every time we come here, but it's delicious. It looks good. And I got the fried rice. There's chicken, pork, and shrimp in it. And I got this last time and it was so yummy. Look at the size of that though. Oh yeah. I'm shocked. I did end up getting a little bit on every bite right there. And I can't, I, I keep on looking at the lighting. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to change it. Maybe if I go like this. But like it's, it's constantly changing because of the light. Oopsie potato. I don't even know what just happened there. Honey chicken. I was too busy going on about the lighting that I dropped my zucchini. Zucchini down. But the chicken is good. I like it. Okay, we're gonna try this a second time. But the zucchini's slipping, so no time to waste. Oh yeah. A little scoopsy rice right there. Oh, you gave me the spoon. <laughs> I like it. Look at it. it looks so proper the way it just sat on there, doesn't it? I love it. That is so funny. I gotta try some of this rice here, but I love the presentation. Isn't it like so fancy? That's a big bite. That's a big I mean it's got all the chicken, it's got chicken and shrimp in there. Alright, we're gonna try it, Eric. Wow, that's good. Yeah, Holy moly. I absolutely love the uh, inside of this restaurant. It looks so pretty in here, doesn't it? And I didn't even know they had a second floor. And we're actually gonna be sitting up here, but look it down. Look at that. Isn't that so nifty? I love these lights too. And I just found out that the stairs that actually go up to the second floor are from India. They actually brought it uh, in three different pieces, but this is uh, hand carved stairs from India. Like, you know what I mean? Where else are you gonna find that in a restaurant other than Animal Kingdom? Or I guess India, too. <laughs> all right, all done with a uh, little lunch there. It was good though, it right? It was delicious. Yeah, and the best way to uh, basically digest lunch is probably ride Expedition Everest. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe that's not the best thing, but it's a fun thing to do. And uh, by the time we walk there, we'll walk off all of our food. Yeah, hopefully. If not, <laughs> we're gonna be riding a very intense roller coaster after eating a very nice meal. <laughs> Before we make our journey over to Everest though, I think maybe we'll stop and get ourselves a little coffee, a little Joffrey's, because I feel like a coffee after a meal is perfect, especially for lunch. And I noticed they have a lot of really cool specialty beverages here. Like for instance, they have the uh, celebratory sips and this is the golden savannah each park actually has their own coffee or frozen uh frappe and i like how it's all themed to the park and then they also have the lion's latte i had that before but i'm not the biggest fan i ended up getting just a little classic 50th anniversary coffee here a little iced coffee on a hot day and add some sugar maybe a little honey and a little cinnamon maybe no i'm only kidding i don't need any of that Look at this! Isn't this insane? 20 minutes 20 for minutes. 20 minutes for Expedition Everest. Like I thought we were gonna have time to walk through the queue, drink our coffee. I thought that too. Yeah, but no. We're gonna probably just walk. It's gonna be less than 20 minutes. But this is also your you guys' first time riding, right? Yeah. Yes. This is their first time coming face to face with the Yeti. It's gonna Very be good. Exciting. I am so excited. A little this scared, is... but it's gonna be awesome. Yes. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Look at that. That is so crazy. 20 minutes. Wow, this is pretty amazing. It said 20 minutes, but honestly, I think we're just gonna walk right on. We're just gonna walk right on. The queue itself is basically like a museum of Yeti. Like, it's pretty amazing. Do you remember that one TV show where the guy went around and like was looking at like monsters and stuff? They have a picture of him here. I think his name is Josh something. I can't remember the name of the show, but his name is Josh something. Maybe Josh Gaines or Grads? Let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's him. And he found this uh, Yeti footprint. Does the Yeti exist? Respect the power of the Yeti. <laughs> Look at this. 
We said 20 minutes and it was like a five minute walk. It was, like five, it was five minutes, wasn't it? Yeah. That, no. <laughs> Since it's you guys' this first time, we gotta wait for row one. Yeah. It's, uh, honestly, I love from the front. Maybe we can ride it twice and we can back and see what it's like. But I mean, I'm always front row. I love it. Yeah. It is so cool. All right, here it goes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Don't lose your phone, guys. Gonna have to hang on to this precious beauty right here. Press it down nice and hard. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I always like to see if anyone dropped anything good down here. <laughs> you almost you almost lost some? You guys have Everest hair. <laughs> no hair don't care. No hair don't care. Oh my Lanta, look at you guys' faces there. <laughs> That's happiness though. That's the... Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. That's the way. All right, we're doing it again. It was so fun the first time. This time we're doing the back row, right? Oh, yeah. Front row, back row. Now you guys gotta let me know which one you like more. Okay. The front or the back? Yeah. Oh boy. This beginning part of the ride is always so peaceful. Like I just love it. It's so relaxing. Except for when we get up here and it jerks you. Oh, like that. Yeah, you don't expect it. You're like, oh. Do you guys see all the hair ties? Like, isn't it a weird tradition? Everyone throws their hair ties there. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that you rode it front and back, which one do you like better? Right. Front. 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 Uh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people live by the back, but I feel like the back is more rough. Like the yeah. front is just smooth. And you get more of the experience. Yeah. Broken. Nice. It's so great. Well, well, now that we did this, we're gonna go do another ride you've never done before. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. We were really I'm, scary, so. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Mm -hmm. Look at this, the Dino Institute. This is one of my favorite rides too. I love coming here. I want to do it every single time, honestly. And it's cool doing it with people who has never, like they never done it. So you get to see that shock factor, you know? 
And I've already like warned you guys, it is a little scary, a little, a little dark, and children can be frightened. But yeah. I love it. <laughs> All right, we have each other and we have you named. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> this says a 20 minute wait too, but I don't think it's 20 minutes. It's definitely a little bit longer than Expedition Everest, but I don't think it's 20 minutes. The time rover is like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. Oh, yeah. I think the chrono is bigger than... Yeah. What's his name? This is Frederico. Frederico? Frederico. Frederico. And that one? This is Schnoopsies. Schnoopsies. A little Carnotaurus. Schnoopsies he potatoes. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> I love it. He loves your guys' shirts. It's the same color as He loves your shirts. Snoopsy loves it. Alright, it's time. We're going back in time here. Oh, but first we have to have the safety check. Okay. Yeah. But then we're gonna time travel okay. back to the Cretaceous period. Wow. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is secret. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the guanadon, and get out before the asteroid hit. Oh. Let's roll. Discovery Island, and I think we're gonna do It's Tough to Be a Bug, and uh, the band is coming on right now. This is fun because you get to dance around a little bit. Those are my type of people. <laughs> While we are over here, before we head to It's Tough to Be a Bug, they have a new turning red cupcake at Flame Tree Barbecue. So I thought maybe we'd grab it, share it, take a look at it, and then enjoy It's Tough to Be a Bug. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That is actually a really pretty cupcake. Look at how cute that cupcake is. And it's like, it's a bao bun. Yes, it's a bao bun on top. Nice. And little chopsticks. Did you guys like Turning Red? Oh my god. It was a good movie, right? So cute. Yeah. Honestly, it's so cool, and I kind of wish I had like that kind of like heritage where I would turn into a panda. Like, right? Can you imagine? I feel like I'd be a big panda, though. Oh yeah, a big panda. Yep. And we love Maze Friends. They're so cute. I know. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm still kind of blown away with all of Animal Kingdom's cupcakes because they're so top heavy. And you know, honestly, the first one that we got, it fell over when they set it down. I went to go pick it up, and it's so top heavy that it tipped over. But look at that. That is a lot. Like, that is pretty impressive. And it does look like a bao bun. I wonder what the flavor is of the bao bun itself. Oh. Ooh. I can't eat it. Like, honestly, they actually look so cool. But, you know, you have to destroy it. I can't. I know. All right. Here we go. I'm going to try the bao bun first. See if it's, like, icing or... <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's oh. pineapple buttercream. Pineapple buttercream? Okay, okay. I'm going in right here. Pineapple buttercream. Oh, I can taste the pineapple. Yeah. Oh my god, the cupcake is so small compared to the ice. I know, that's what I mean. It's like that much cupcake. Like, there's more icing than cupcake. And you can see the pineapple right here. That's, oh, so, that's interesting. so interesting. Pineapple buttercream. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. Oh wow, it's so good. It does taste like the fall. Mm -hmm. Like that is pretty crazy. It's very good here. Oh, 
All right, enough of the cupcake business. Uh, time to head into uh, it's tough to be a bug. It's tough to be a bug. <laughs> Another really cool thing though, a lot of people don't know that there is a dinosaur on the tree of life. Like isn't that crazy? An actual dinosaur. Where's he at? We gotta find the dinosaur. Oh there it is! Look at that! Oh it looks like we're in time for the uh, show. We got here just in time. We have to get some honorary bug glasses. There we go. This makes you uh, turn into an honorary bug. So you put those on, you become an honorary bug. You can't actually film during the show, so the show just ended, and it was so much fun. Look, now we gotta take our honorary bug glasses off, and uh, we're back. What did you guys think of It's Tough to Be a Bug? It was so fun. It was I loved fun. That there was like water and then like smells. Scary though, right? Very scary. I did scream when the spiders, the spiders came down. The black widow spiders. Did that you guys get the, the sting from the hornet in the back? No. Oh, you missed the most scariest part. I got it. Yeah, I got stung. Loved it. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. You guys didn't even get the scariest part though. But at the end, the sea moved up. And it was oh, yeah. Up. And with that, I think we're all done here. Yes, we are. It was a fun day. We got to do a lot of rides that they never got to do. For the right? First time. Yeah. I know. A lot of scary rides that just enjoyed an Animal Kingdom day. I mean, I love it. <laughs> so make sure you guys check out. I'll put a link for their uh, YouTube channel and their TikTok. We wear cute. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. I enjoyed making it. Bye. <laughs>